Jeff Passold here for Tom Ryder, who is home enjoying all the bowl games. I think Boy, he called you to tell you yes, he how did. relaxed he was. Yes, right? relaxed and enjoying all the action. <laughs> I want to know how much you paid that Sooner Schooner driver tonight. <laughs> well, <I'll, laughs> that was a great that's play. That's a strange play. In it the took you a while to think of that What's thing. What's the penalty but... for that? This is timeout. That's holding. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. No <laughs> oh. Crazy. For the past week, Brigham Young has been saying it is the number one team in college football. But tonight, Miami, Florida at the Orange Bowl, second-ranked Oklahoma and third-ranked Washington were hoping to impress the ranking committee and gain an 11th hour vote for the top spot. The final polls will be released tomorrow and we'll know then for sure who will claim the national championship. But Washington's performance tonight just might be enough to sway the pollsters. They upset Oklahoma 28-17. The score was 14 all in the second half when Oklahoma kicked what appeared to be the go-ahead field goal. But when the Sooner Schooner Wagon came on the field to celebrate, the referee called a penalty for a legal procedure against Oklahoma, saying the wagon didn't belong there. Oklahoma tried another field goal. It was blocked, so because of the wagon, no points. That's that's just crazy. A bit later, Oklahoma tried another field goal. It was good. This time, the wagon stayed put, and Oklahoma took a 17-14 lead, but Washington fought back. Hugh Millen hit Mark Pattison with an 11-yard touchdown pass to put the Huskies up 21-17. They added another touchdown and could unseat Brigham Young as the nation's top team. An NBC Sports poll tonight says they will not, but who knows? I guess we're just going to have to wait for tomorrow to find out. Down to New Orleans tonight, 4th-ranked Nebraska met 12th-ranked Louisiana State in the Sugar Bowl. Nebraska got a come from behind win, 28-10 over Louisiana State. Nebraska trailed 10-7 in the first half when quarterback Craig Sundberg roll left, decided to take it in himself. A 10-yard TD run put the Huskers up 14-10, and they never trailed after that. The final, Nebraska 28, Louisiana 10. Out in Pasadena, California earlier this evening, the oldest of all the bowl games, the Rose Bowl, USC winning in an upset 2017 over Ohio State. In fact, the Pac-10 Conference has won 14 of the last 16 Rose Bowls, so the Big Ten jinx continues. USC battled back from an early 3-0 deficit and took command when Tim Green hit Timmy Ware with a 19-yard TD pass. The point after made it 17-3 Trojans. Late in the game, though, Ohio State made things interesting. Keith Tomzak to Chris Carter for the touchdown to make it USC 20, Ohio State 15. The Buckeyes got the two-point conversion to cut the lead to 2017, but they couldn't get the tying field goal, and that is how it ended. USC 20, Ohio State 17. Now, earlier today in Dallas, Heisman Trophy winner Doug Flutie wasn't overwhelming, but he did lead Boston College to a big win over Houston. The final score at the Cotton Bowl, eighth-ranked BC 45, Houston 28. We pick up the action in the second quarter. Doug Flutie to Gerald Phelan, the same combination on that Hail Mary pass a couple of weeks ago. This time, a 13-yard TD pass, and BC led 24-7. But Flutie struggled in the second half, avoiding the rush there. But his lame duck pass was picked off by Audrey McMillan and returned 25 yards for the touchdown. Boston College's lead was cut to 31-28. But then BC regained their momentum. Troy Stanford took this pitch from Flutie and went 19 yards for the score. Boston College wins it 45-28 at the Cotton Bowl. At the Fiesta Bowl in Tempe, Arizona today, a great matchup. Miami of Florida losing to UCLA, 39-37, sort of an upset. We have highlights from that game. UCLA UCLA led 29-24 in the third quarter when Steve Bono threw to Mike Young, who made a great diving catch in the end zone for the touchdown, giving UCLA a 36-24 lead. But Miami came storming back. Bernie Kosar to Melvin Bratton with a three-yard TD pass. Miami took a one-point lead, 37-36. But then with just 51 seconds to play, UCLA's John Lee hit his third field goal of the day from 22 yards to give the Bruins a 39-37 lead. Miami tried one last comeback, but Kosar was sacked and fumbled. UCLA held on to win it by two. Some hockey history today in Minneapolis. Bemidji State put its 42-game winning streak in the line against Augsburg College, and the streak came to an end. Augsburg winning at 9-2, ending the longest winning streak in NCAA hockey. So 9-2 the final there. Two scores in the National Hockey League this afternoon. Washington over Boston, 5-1, and Calgary over Winnipeg, 5-3. The North Stars will play Thursday in Los Angeles. Think the guy driving that Oklahoma wagon's in a spot of trouble? That guy is out of a job. Yeah, Barry Switzer has anything He's not to say. even going to be able to drive that Perina Dog Chow Chuck <laughs> wagon. You know that little thing? I have he's a in. feeling it will never happen ever again. No, that guy, he'll be forced to move to Oklahoma. <laughs>